Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survivalist Boards. I had a special request that somebody posted on the cinder block video. It's like, Kevin, the next time you cook, do a video and show us how well it works. I'm like, okay, no problem guys, no problem at all. And I told the guy that my wife and I were probably going to cook some burgers. And so I'd do a video today. In fact, well, he posted it like, what, yesterday or today? Something like that. And, uh... We're just kind of moving that stuff around. Come on, get up there. We got some of these uh, pre-made hamburgers and some of y'all are saying, Kevin, that's supposed to, you're supposed to make the hamburgers by hand. Like, I know, guys. I know. I just These are so easy. I mean, they're so easy. They taste good. All right, so one thing is getting, off, getting away from the fire. We've got the piece of wood on there. Y'all can see we've got the fire going up right there. We want to cook to the side. Just take those hamburger patties, bring them over here like that, get them off, get them off the heat. The uh, center blocks makes a nice little holder for utensils, and we've got the sausage up here. We're just going to take and turn that sausage like that. There we go, guys. There we go. See how you've taken, you got plenty of room. Do the spatula. If you're turning meat or something, let's say you're out there on a hunting lease and you want to build one of these. I'd make it a little bit like how wide. See, we got one center block back there in the back. I'd make it at least two. Make this thing... This circle here is 24 inches across, so I'd probably make it four foot. And you'd have a little less than four foot cooking area because the you'd want the center block to overlap a little bit right there and right there. Getting crud all over my spatula. Then, uh, do the same thing up here, but instead of using a round one, make it, say, a foot wide or so, four foot long. Put it up there, put these flat center blocks up there. You'll be able to cook squirrel, rabbit, sausage, whatever you want. I mean, I think the guy may have had a question about that we take and just get up in there nice and easy. See all that room? No problem, guys. No problem at all. So I'd make this probably two foot wide. Boy, if I was making this for a deer lease, if I were to build another one, remember, I just threw this one together. I'd make it four foot wide, two foot deep, make this top one about a foot deep and four foot wide. Probably with that length, you may need to put a piece of angle iron across the front of it to help shore it up. Tell you what, guys, these are real flame broiled burgers. You do not get any more flame broiled than this using real oak. Oh, yeah. Got a few little pieces of pecan in there. Give them just a little bit of flavor. I'll move them back there over the fire a little bit. Yeah, sausage is doing good. Now it's time to put some cheese on. Smith, you want to take that cheese off of there for me? Out of the wrapper for me, please? There you go. Thank you. cheese melt on there all right guys I think that's good we're gonna take them off of there real flame broiled cheeseburgers see if I can get that sausage on there oh yeah just right guys just right all right well I hope that answers y'all's questions about cooking with the grill if you need anything else the next thing we're gonna do is gonna cook some chicken on it and uh, we got some chicken breast in there, some uh, skinless chicken breast. We're going to be cooking that on here next. Not today, so stay tuned for a follow-up video. Anyway, guys and gals, I'll talk to y'all later.